If you want to know the difference between audio normalization and compression, you are in the right video. Instead of just saying which is what, I will show a simple illustration. First, normalization. In simple terms, normalization can be set a volume control. Here you can see four groups of audio based on its loudness. This red bar is the maximum loud sound in the audio. This blue one is the volume of the noise. Let's say I want to set the peak amplitude of normalization to minus 3. This is Audacity's normalization settings, but normalization in every software works in the same way. Let's assume this is the minus 3 dB in this illustration. After normalization, the loudest audio will reach minus 3, and the volume of every other part of the audio will increase the same amount as the loudest one. If you set the normalization value in a lower volume, overall volume will decrease. For example, if I set peak amplitude to minus 27, overall volume will decrease. So normalization affects everything in the audio. Let's see the compression. The purpose of compression is to lower the gap between the loudest and quietest parts of the audio. By quietest part, I mean the lowest volume of recorded sounds. So here this one is the lowest. Compression will decrease this gap. When you have a recording with a large gap in the volume level, for example whisper and some loud talking, you will need to use compression. Then you will be able to hear the whisper clearly and the loudest talk will not hurt your ear. Compression is done based on the threshold. In Audacity, here you can set the threshold. There are two types of compression, downward and upward compression. I will discuss mainly downward compression in this video. Downward compression touches the loud audio above the threshold. Upward compression does the opposite, it does not touch the audio above the threshold, but pull up the audio below the threshold. In Audacity, compress based on peaks is used for upward compression. Let's get back to the illustration of downward compression. When compression is applied, audio above the threshold is compressed, and its volume will seem to decrease. With compression, volume is not decreased in a simple way. It is compressed, and the volume level seems to decrease. So the bar will actually become something like this. That means the data is there, but it is organized in a different way to make the volume lower. Now the difference between low and high are now decreased. You can see in this graph output is not linearly increasing here with input. After threshold, output volume is decreased slowly. If you move the threshold slider, you will see this graph changes. Also, the ratio plays a very important part in compression. If you want a detailed explanation of compression settings, please let me know in the comment. Thanks for watching this video and I hope confusion over normalization and compression is now gone.